Vaccines have saved countless people from deadly infections, of course, by training our own immune system to fight unwelcome invaders. Well, now they're being used to fight a different type of invader. We're talking about cancer. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a look at the future of cancer vaccines. The idea of a vaccine to harness a person's own immune system to fight cancer, that's been in the works for decades. Unfortunately, though, progress has been slow because cancer isn't only one disease, but there have been advancements falling in distinct categories. Dr. Amy Weesey is a medical oncologist at Henry Ford Health. There are, in general, three types of cancer vaccines. There are prevention vaccines therapeutic or treatment-related vaccines, and then vaccines aimed at preventing uh, cancer recurrence. Let's break down each vaccine type. The cancer prevention vaccines are more like standard vaccines against a virus. The most notable examples are the HPV and hepatitis B vaccines. Infection with both of these viruses is associated with an increased risk of cancer. Next are the therapeutic or treatment vaccines. The goal of uh, that type of vaccine is to try and get the patient's immune system to attack the cancer itself. These vaccines are custom made in a lab using a sample of the patient's actual tumor and the same mRNA technology used to make the first COVID vaccines. Right now, this process takes two weeks to months, but Dr. Weesey sees the technology evolving. In the future, yeah, hopefully every hospital uh, will be able to take the patient's tumor, run the sequence, um, and do it, you know, with, within days. Once you're treated for cancer, there's always a concern about recurrence or cells that may have escaped to other parts of the body. That's where preventative vaccines come in. These types of vaccines are aimed at, um, again, stimulating the immune system to go after those microscopic cells that somewhere down the road may come back and be a more advanced or stage four situation. Now, you might wonder if one day there might be a generic vaccine against breast cancer or lung cancer. Well, Dr. Weesey doesn't think that's very likely because every cancer is really very unique in terms of how the immune system needs to be trained to attack it. These therapies are incredibly personalized to each individual, and that's really the state of the art, treatment that is unique to every individual's situation.